Hi everyone, welcome back to Chemistry with Kat. Today we are going to be learning how to calculate percent yield. Now, this is one of those questions that will haunt you forever. You will have to do it almost in every level of university chemistry, even if it's just on your lab. So, let's do it! Percent yield is calculated by dividing the actual yield by the theoretical yield and then multiplying that by 100. So what do these mean? The actual yield is what actually happened in the lab in the experiment. At the end of the experiment, you'll find the mass of your product or the moles of your product and that will be your actual yield. Now, the theoretical yield is what we calculate using stoichiometry and that would be the yield that would come if everything in your experiment went perfectly and all the product was collected. Then we multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. Now, this is kind of just a way to tell how successful your experiment was. If your percent yield was just 10%, that means you only got 10% of what was expected to get, and that's not so good. To calculate the percent yield, you can use moles or mass, but you have to make sure that the actual yield and the theoretical yield are in the same units. So although you have some flexibility, it's not like you could do one of them in mass and one of them in moles. No. Either both have to be in moles or both have to be in mass. Remember, this is a ratio, so it doesn't actually matter the units as long as they are the same and can be compared to each other. Remember that the actual yield is always going to be less than the theoretical yield, so you should never go over 100% with this calculation. The question states that 0.5 grams of propane, C3H8, is reacted with excess oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Find the maximum mass of carbon dioxide that can be formed. So that's asking you to find the theoretical yield. If the actual yield is 0.95 grams, find the percent yield. So the first thing we'll do is find that theoretical yield. So we're going to write out the equation, which they told us in word form, but let's write it as a chemical equation. So we had propane, which is C3H8, plus excess oxygen, giving us carbon dioxide and water. Now, first up, we have to balance this equation. And if you want to review how to balance equations, watch my video from yesterday on how to balance an equation. I actually do this exact reaction in that video. So what we found in that video was there were five oxygen, three carbon dioxide, and four water. So there's our balanced formula. Now to find the theoretical yield. The question is asking us for carbon dioxide. So this is what we're looking for. It told us that the oxygen is what's in excess. And we'll learn about limiting reagents tomorrow, but that just tells us that once the propane runs out, the reaction will stop. So we need to compare propane and carbon dioxide. So what we'll do is calculate the moles of propane. The question said that we had a mass of 0.5 grams of propane. So let's find the moles. We have moles equals mass over molar mass. And if you forget that, go watch my video on moles and molar mass. Uh, 0.5 grams divided by the molar mass of propane. I calculated this to be 44.09 grams per mole. The grams cancel out and we have 0.01134 mole. So that's the moles of propane in the experiment. Now we have to compare those moles to the moles of carbon dioxide. All we have to do is look at the ratio of coefficients. If we balanced this formula properly, we'll get the right answer. So for every one mole of propane, we're going to get three moles of carbon dioxide. So we just have to take this number and multiply it by three. And when I do that, I get 0.034 moles. 
So there's the moles. Now I have to find the mass of carbon dioxide. And it's just using the same moles molar mass equation opposite. So we know that mass is going to be moles times molar mass. So that equals 0.034 mole times the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which I calculated, is 44.01 grams per mole. The moles will cancel out, and we're left with 1.497 grams. So that is the theoretical yield for this reaction. If everything went perfect in this reaction, we would have 1.497 grams of carbon dioxide. Therefore, theoretical yield is 1.497 grams. And there's part one. Now, to find the percent yield, we have to divide the actual yield by the theoretical yield and multiply that by 100. In the question, they told us that the actual yield was 0 0.95 grams. And then the theoretical yield is 1.497 grams. Now, the actual yield is always going to be given to you or is something you are gonna actually find yourself in the lab. I remember second year orgo, this is like a given at the end of every single lab experiment just to see how successful it was. And then we'll multiply one by 100. Now remember, these have to have the same units and we're good because they're both in grams. I get 63.46% which I mean, it's over 50%, but it's definitely not great. But that's our percent yield. The only thing to know is that this could be in moles, but the problem is in an actual yield, they'll probably never give you moles. So that would actually be harder because you would have to take this 0 0.95 mass and convert that to moles. So I would always, to save yourself some work, just calculate the theoretical yield in mass. And that's it. Please let me know what you thought of this video and lesson by leaving a comment down below. As always, follow me on Instagram at chemwithcat. And if you enjoyed this lesson, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you tomorrow.